You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, B&B fans. It is Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I've got two-week spoilers for you. These run from Monday, January 29th, all the way through Friday, February 9th, which is the first full week of February sweeps. There is big stuff coming on all your front burner storylines. I know we're all not going to get what we want in February sweeps, but things are heating up and it just depends on who your ship is and who you're rooting for, how much you're going to like these two weeks. Spoilers. I'm going to unpack those all for you right now, but if you have not, please reach down, click subscribe so you don't miss any of our updates. Let's jump in. All right. This coming Monday, January 29th, we've got Luna pressuring her mother. She wants answers on who is her biological father. What's really frustrating is Poppy clearly knows who the man is. All the Easter eggs are pointing to Bill Spencer. So either the writers are just laying it all out there thinking we're too dumb to pick it up or this is all red herring stuff and it's really somebody else like Lee's ex-husband, Jack Finnegan. I will say the bold writers aren't usually that clever, nor do they think their viewers are that bright. That's why they always show flashbacks way too much. It's also why they change history and don't bother to justify what they've changed. And it also explains why they just feel comfortable kicking characters and actors off the show and thinking that you guys are not going to notice as viewers that watch every day. So Just because of how obvious they are, how painfully obvious, I definitely feel like Bill is probably the daddy. We'll see. I could be wrong. Also on Monday, Ridge Forster figures out that Thomas Forster proposed to Hope Logan. I'm curious if this is a conversation he has with Thomas or if Hope's doing that thing where she's just talking about Thomas and smiling and playing with that chain with that big old engagement ring on it. I mean, it's not a big stretch. That's how come Liam already know. I think these are almost like Freudian slips. That's not quite quite the right word because a Freudian slip is uh, verbal and what Hope is doing is body language. But I feel like she wants people to see that ring and to know that he proposed, even though she hasn't said yes. We'll see. Tuesday, January 30th, 2024. We have got Brooke Logan now also in the know about this Thomas Hope proposal issue, and she is disagreeing with Ridge about it. Brooke thinks he hasn't changed. She thinks he's an obsessed monster. I mean, if either of their kids are obsessed, I almost think it's Hope instead because she can't stay away. And I don't think it really matters what she finds out about Thomas at this point. I think she's like a junkie looking for a fix. You may disagree. Drop your comments if you do. That's okay. We can talk about it. Also on Tuesday, Luna is not sure that she can trust her mom. I'm not sure she can trust her mom. Poppy's popping those secret pills. She clearly knows who her daughter's daddy is, but decided not to tell the man or her daughter. Lee Finnegan hates her for some reason. I mean, Lee can be a little crazy, but I feel like there must be something there for this level of aggravation that Lee is having. Otherwise, Lee's just a really bad big sister. All right, Wednesday, January 31st, Thomas makes a vow to hope. It's very sincere and heartfelt, and she likes it. I am i don't know if it's going to be like, I'll wait for you forever. I love you. You're the only woman for me. Whatever it is, Hope's definitely having a little change of attitude, and that's going to manifest the next day, which is the day that kicks off February sweeps. But also on midweek, we've got Zende Forrester showing up over at RJ's brand spanking new beach house. RJ's trying to get Luna out of her pants and Zende comes in blocking. Talk about some frustration. I mean, I understand why Zende has such an attitude against RJ. It's kind of funny when Zende talks about 
to and about RJ, he manifests everything that I personally think about RJ and all the reasons I'm not enjoying this kid having front burner storyline stuff, especially because he and Luna are going to fully consume half of the February sweeps drama. If you aren't picking that up already, let me make it plain to you. Yes, they are not going to be any less in your face all month long. All right, then we're on Thursday, February 1st, which is the first day of sweeps. Thomas and Hope hit the sheets. The thaw in the bedroom is over. Whatever he says to her on Wednesday works, and she is back to making out with her man. And that's funny because that's the same day that Steffi finds out her brother proposed to Hope. She's not going to be happy, but Thomas is happy because he's got Hope back in his arms. Zenday and RJ's fight cranks up on Thursday. It gets even more brutal. I don't know if it's going to turn physical. I think it's more of a war of words. But Luna is trying to chill them out. I don't think that's going to work really well. We're going to end next week on Friday, February 2nd with RJ wanting a night of romance. So maybe they get Zenday out the door so they can hit the sheets too. Steffi and Finn are on Team Brooke about this Thomas Hope proposal thing. Ridge is clearly on the other side. I don't know if this is going to work out for Bridge or Sen for either of those couples because it's just about to get really wild and stressful. All right. As we are heading into the first full week of sweeps, it's going to be Monday, February 5th through Friday, February 9th. And we've got Thomas and Hope facing increasing opposition to their love and to their possible engagement. And this opposition could do one of two things. It could tear them apart, which is what their opponents hope will happen, or it could make them stronger. And that's kind of where I feel like it's going. We'll know by the end of sweeps. Zende is spiraling into a dark place. He's very jealous. I do think his feelings are understandable, but I think his actions are about to start coloring outside the lines. Poppy's lies and sidestepping when she's asked tough questions, I think are going to push Luna to try and find out the truth for herself about who's her father. And I do think that Brooke is going to rub Ridge the wrong way by pushing Hope to dump Thomas. And that push is going to become even harder now that Brooke knows there's an engagement ring in the picture as well. Xander is back. He's going to be back in the spotlight in sweeps. He's going to start up with the same accusations. I don't know if there's going to be any new info because all the old info has been evaluated and found lacking in terms of any justice or any arrest or anything like that. Bill is going to keep falling head over heels for Poppy, but her secret keeping could be an issue. And Steffi and Finn's united stance against Thomas and Hope could splinter when Xander's back in the picture, filling Finn's ears full of stuff again, and Finn goes back on his word to his wife. That is all of the two-week spoilers I have for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please drop your comments. Definitely subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know what you are excited to see next week and beyond on the CBS Soap Opera. Thanks for listening. As always, it's Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 